And we're back again. So we just uh, decided to get the move. It's about uh, 7.30, something like that, quarter for seven. And, um, you know, again, we're just looking, we're really looking at terrain, too. So we're going to check out some other, uh, some ridges, um, you know, turkeys. When they roost, or uh, I'm sorry, when they uh, strut, they like to be at high points a lot of the time. Not always, but... They want to be seen, obviously, they're put on a show, right? Trying to get a date. So they want to be at high points um, where they can be very visible. So we've actually, um, it's kind of a little education too point here. Maybe a tool you guys can use is um, the, Nash, the Nat Geo website uh, now has free topo maps. So if you go on there and um, search for a certain area, you can just zoom in on, on the area that you're looking for. There's different um, different topo maps there, and you can actually print them out. They're pretty good, um, and they're free. So, I mean, I know there's a lot of different things out there you can use to get topos, but um, anyway, we pulled a topo of this public land, and um, we're looking for high points and ridges, and so we've got an idea of what we're, you know, what we're looking for here. And we're just gonna take a little walk, do some scouting, See if we can find some some uh, some hot zones. Don't worry, I'm still here. I'm still here today. <laughs> Corey's taking the limelight, but I'm still here. Corey actually has something new that he'd like to talk about today. Yeah. Corey. So, as you all know, when you're out there in the turkey woods, it's it's not always the coldest out when you're walking around, and uh, I heat up pretty quickly. I'm a sweater, and uh, I need to keep hydrated. We all do, but I'm, I'm just addicted to hydration, so I got myself a little hydration bladder for this year. It's expensive. It's, handy, it's but expensive, but yeah, we uh, we got this got this bad boy. I think it cost me about nine dollars on Amazon Prime. I had her in two days, and it's just beautiful. Beautiful. No more clunky bottles. You know, you're pulling the bottle out to take a sip and you knock it against the tree and then a turkey flies off the roost and that's the end of that. So it's the end of that. Get yourself, get yourself a hydration bladder. Got it, dude. Let's roll. So this should be a pretty familiar spot to you guys. Right behind us here. See that opening back there. That is where we did the youth hunt last year, where we took Chase out. It's pretty cool to, to come back and um, just relive the experience a little bit, whether it's for us or for somebody else. Um, it's always cool. Boots aren't rubber. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> this is where I'm practicing for my Spartan race. I take a lot of runs down here. Nice. I ran through this creek. You gotta run. You gotta Sunday. run right up and down the creek here. Dude, Sunday. I ran through here, just soaked my feet. Yeah. Went all the way down this trail. All the way down to the bottom and then shot out to where we parked. It was about a three and a half mile run. It's pretty good. Pretty That's good cool. run. You're not hunting and scouting properly. If you aren't getting pounded in the face with sticks and briars, 
That's just a fact. I didn't even hear a crow. Making progress. The crows, crows are calling time. back. Man, quiet birds today. What birds would want to hear? Well, we promised that we would bring the experience to you. We did not promise that we'd bring you action every time. But hey, that's that's part of hunting big part of hunting is that there's not a lot of action sometimes so yeah um, not much going on this morning no gobbles um, just not much going on activity wise but we did uh, we did do some scouting and found a couple more pretty good spots elevated spots where they open where they could be strutting and um, found one really good spot where it's a really good 360 view uh, for a strutter so we're gonna get back in here probably in like a another week and um, you know, next week, the youth opener is next Saturday, so we got to get in here before then and um, set up like we're going to hunt. So kind of just sit at a couple of these spots and see if anything comes through. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's always good to get out and uh, exciting to just uh, be in the woods as the sun comes up. So it's a good day overall. Out.